Robert Halver is head of capital market research at Bada Bank and joins us now from Frankfurt. Uh, Robert, good to have you with us. Uh, I mean, it's quite extraordinary when you see what's going on in Greece now with the, the banks closing down for a week. Who do you think is to blame for this crisis? I mean, the Greek government is blaming the EU for imposing these reforms. The EU is saying the Greek government's to blame for failing to negotiate properly. What do you think? I guess to blame is the European policy. We had rules, rules of stability, and the rules have all broken the last couple of years. And that's why even Greece, the new government, Mr. T Mr. Tsipras and his uh, finance minister, will not able to join to these rules. That's the most important part. Even Germany and France hadn't uh, hadn't time and hadn't the, the will to accept those rules in former time. That's why stability is only a rule on papers. And how closely then are countries like Italy, Portugal and Spain going to be watching how this crisis develops? Because the last thing the EU wants is for, uh, you know, similar intransigence from them. We cannot relax our position stability criteria, it's not able. That's why my opinion is let the Greek guys go out of the Eurozone at least for a couple of years, maybe 10 or 20 years. So other countries will show stability is still a part of the game. They all should do. Uh, to do, they all should be keen on having these rules and they all should uh, do whatever they can do to make reforms because without reforms we will have the same problems in other countries in a couple of years. Greece should not be the first stone which would tumble. Uh, it's interesting what you say about, look, just let the Greeks go for a couple of years because the prevailing attitude among EU ministers is that they, that, you know, everything must be done to keep uh, the Eurozone together. Uh, it, it, just, it seems inconceivable that uh, Greece could leave the Euro. We have a political reason for having the Greek guys still in our Eurozone, but the f financial position, um, very rational position, would be to let the people go out of the Eurozone because they would have to reintroduce their drachma and thereby they will have good and extremely successful positions in export things. And once the Greek guys will see we are still growing by exports, they could do their homework, they could do their, their, their reforms. And in a couple of years, maybe 10, 15, 20 years, they could come back. It is very important to have a perspective for the Greek guys, not to have a political solution just to say they will be a member of the Eurozone still. Can I just ask you this quickly? Um, because it seems that most Greeks want to remain in the Eurozone. They don't want to leave the EU. What they do reject are more austerity reforms. Is it possible to have the one without it's the other? I guess we will have a referendum next Sunday if the Greek majority will vote yes for reforms and for uh, being a member of the Eurozone. Then I'm still a strong believer that uh, Greece will be a member of the Eurozone. But if they should vote no, they have to go. Robert, good to have you with us. Thank you very much indeed for joining us on the programme. Robert Halver there from the Bardot Bank.